Thank you. Well, a new controversy surfaced two days ago, and it became a major moment tonight when Donald Trump confronted Hillary Clinton over new allegations that Democratic operatives, potentially coordinating with the Democratic National Committee and even the Clinton campaign, paid agitators to incite violence at Trump rallies. Watch. If you look at what came out today on the clips, where I was wondering what happened with my rally in Chicago and other rallies where we had such violence, She's the one in Obama that caused the violence. They hired people, they paid them $1,500, and they're on tape saying, be violent, cause fights, do bad things. Joining me now, Donna Brazil, chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee. Donna, thank you very much for being here. So the, the people involved in that campaign to incite violence at the Trump rallies and make it you know, look like Trump supporters were violent when in fact they had been provoked by these folks looking for a fight, say that this was in direct coordination with Hillary Clinton's camp and with the DNC. Scott Fovall, the guy caught on tape who's now been fired, said this is how it worked. The Hillary camp pays the DNC. The DNC pays Democracy Partners, our group, who pays the Fo Fovall group, and that's the group that quotes, that quote, executes the expletive on the ground. Hey, Do Kelly, you deny that, it? that contract, uh, first of all, that contract, based on my knowledge, I became chair on, on July 28th. Uh, the contract uh, that is uh, allegedly uh, being referred to was not uh, signed until uh, June of 2016. I think all that evidence is out there. Look, when you have a convicted criminal uh, sneaking around your office with uh, imposters that try to uh, are you referring to Bob and, Kramer, and grab, the head of and, Democracy and, and, Partners? No, I, 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 I'm, re, I'm, re, I'm referring to Mr. O'Keefe uh, in the instance that he has doctored some videos as he's done before. But again, going back to the so-called contract that you, you mentioned, uh, Bob's contract, uh, according to the records that I was able to pull at the DNC, uh, uh, was not uh, signed until June of 2016. Bob uh, Kramer, Bob just, well, so, just no, to get Mr. our viewers Mr. up to Kramer, speed, just, just, Kramer, let me just say, I'll, I'll give you the floor, but I just want to uh, tell our viewers aside. what we're talking about, because uh, they may not know uh, who he is. Bob Kramer's Kramer the head of, aside. one second, Donna, do, forgive me, because I just want to get the viewers up to speed who haven't been following this like you and I have. Okay. Bob Kramer was the head of Democracy Partners. This is one of the groups, he's now been fired, this is one of the groups that committed these acts. He's the man who was at the White House 342 times and met personally, according to the records, with President Obama in some fashion over 40 times. He's now been dismissed, but he's the one saying that there was coordination with the DNC. And this is obviously a very well-connected man. He, too, is a convicted felon, convicted for fraud. This is obviously not an honest person. And yet, you were working very closely with him, the DNC. Well, uh, again, Bob, Bob Kramer, I, I, I went back to the DNC the other day uh, when this came up after we learned that we had a, a, a trespass, a, a, a convicted criminal uh, sneaking around our office, posing as an intern. Uh, and I, I asked for the uh, records of uh, Mobilize to be produced. Uh, now, Bob, this was Bob, Bob uh, a contract with uh, Mobilize, his group was signed in, in, in June to help us with building rallies across the country, meaning Democratic rallies. Uh, so what Mr. Trump was, was referring to, and I'm sure you, it'll, uh, you, you'll see the results, uh, that was something that happened months ago, and I, don't, I, I have no evidence and no knowledge of that. Mr. Kramer stepped aside because he did not want to be a dis, the, the, the kind of distraction that he is even at this point. Here, I just, but, I just witnessed the third debate. I went to all three debates. I thought Hillary did a fantastic job. I thought she was not only uh, on the mark in terms of the substance uh, and talking about real solutions for the middle class, but Donald Trump had an opportunity tonight uh, to, to tell the American people that he would not allow any foreign government to undermine our democratic process. And rather than take that position, Donald Trump basically said, in a democracy where the voters should decide, he alone will make the decision whether or not he will accept the results. It's the that citizens. Was a controversial who, comment. Uh, we've, we've it's talked the about citizens. That. It's the citizens. I, I feel very strongly about you. You feel strongly about an imposter walking into our office uh, and trying to get uh, staff people to do X and Y and then come up with this video. I feel very no, strongly Donna, about the, the right of just, every citizen to vote, Kelly. And I want, I want to make sure every American 
have the right to vote on election Look, day. Let's be clear. I've said nothing about my feelings. This is about a controversy that has erupted to the point where I wasn't the one who fired these two staffers. The Democrats fired these two staffers. So obviously they believe some wrongdoing they took aside. place. They, whether they, the tape was obtained, let me just finish, whether the tape was obtained improperly or not. But, but no one so far has come out to challenge the legitimacy of these particular tapes put out by James O'Keefe and Project oh, Veritas. Oh, In fact, oh, they've acted on them. Absolutely. So you, you, uh, if, you say you that go, the tapes there, are, are falsified? Uh, Mr. O'Keefe enjoys falsifying records. He did it with NPR. He's yeah, done but it with what about in this case? Sources. But, but, but Kelly, can I ask you, we're at a presidential debate, uh, and Donald Trump made several ridiculous claims tonight. But you're and, dodging. And, you, I, you, and, you and I hit Donald and, Trump's representatives with those, play, but now I, I have you. I don't play dodgeball, honey. I play basketball. And I'm just telling you, he tried to score on misinformation. He, he's trying okay. to score but I have you. on listen, information listen, you, that was obtained you, illegally. You say that, Donna. Kelly. You say that. You say you say that you play that you play straight up. But I have to ask you because oh, you do, were accused. But you were accused of receiving a debate question before a CNN town hall where they partnered with TV One, and that that you had this question on on March 12th. The, that verbatim, verbatim was provided by Roland Martin to CNN the next day. How did you get that question, Donna? Well, Kelly, since I play straight up, and I'll play straight up with you, uh, I did not receive any questions from CNN. Let's just be Where'd very you get clear. It? Uh, where, where did you get uh, it? First of all, what information are you providing to me that that will allow me to see what what you're talking about? Everybody, you got is, the is WikiLeaks released a March 12th Podesta email showing I you do. messaging the Clinton campaign with the exact wording of a question asked at the March 13th Kelly, CNN TV Kelly, One town hall debate. Kelly, where did you get it? I, 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 you know, as a Christian woman, I understand persecution, but I will not sit here and be persecuted because your information is totally false. What you're, what you're I'm telling the American people. I'm getting it from Podesta's people, email. What, what you're, what, what you well, Podesta's emails were stolen. You're so interested in talking about stolen material. So you material, deny you're it. Like, you're, you're like a thief that want to bring into the night the things that you found that was in the gutter. I'm not, let Donna, me just tell you what I CNN's said from day one. Donna, CNN's Jake Tapper Kelly, came out and said this was unethical. Somebody was unethically helping the Clinton campaign. He said, I love Donna Brazil, but this is very, very upsetting. And I love, My understanding I love is that CNN the email to I Donna Brazil, he, this is Jake Tapper. My understanding is that the email to Donna Brazil came from either Roland Martin or someone around Roland Martin. He said this is very upsetting and very troubling. That's your own colleague at CNN. It's not Megyn Kelly. Who gave you that question? Uh, hey, Megan, once again, I've said it, and I've said it on the record, and I'll say it on the record, and I'll keep saying it on the record. I am not going to try to validate falsified information. I have my documents. I have my files. Thank God I have not had my personal uh, emails uh, ripped off from me and stolen and, and given to some criminals uh, to come back altered. I have my records, I have my files, and as I said repeatedly, uh, CNN, in, in the 14 years I was associated with CNN, I've never received anything. If I had a blank piece of paper, that, that would basically be the end of this conversation. I never get documents from CNN. Your email to Period. the Clinton camp said, sometimes uh, I receive the questions you know, in advance. Uh, and you know CNN what? is I, saying Roland Martin gave them to you or someone at TV One. Any, any, and they were provided any, anybody, to Hillary before well, that town hall. Well, anybody who knows me, and, and uh, there are a number of your colleagues as well, they know me very well. Uh, I know how I play it. I know what I do before every debate. I know what I do before every show, even this show. I do my homework. I communicate. I, I talk. Uh, but I can just once again uh, let you know that... Uh, as far as I, I know, that uh, CNN has never provided me with questions. Absolutely, ever, nada. Well, when you said when Sorry. you said from time to time I get the questions in advance, what were you referring to? Because in in that email you offered the exact question that one of the moderators, Roland Martin, then proposed the next day. So, so my 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 reference back to you, ma'am, with all respect, and I respect you greatly. Um, and I respect you too. The, 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 the validity of those emails, if I can only tell you one thing, because as you know, this whole episode is under criminal investigation, uh, but I could just tell you one thing. A lot of those emails, I would not give them the time of the day. I've seen so many okay. doctored emails. 
I've seen things that come from Fair me enough. at two in the morning that I don't even send. There, there are several uh, I understand email that. addresses I, that I, I want to. I appreciate that. They use. haven't and all I'm been so verified. I'm sorry that we, 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 we have. This has not been verified. This is the, the nobody will. This, this is under investigation. And let me just tell you I, something. If there's anything that I have, I will share. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't right. have a. a I got to run because we, we've got another anybody. guest waiting. Uh, uh, I don't have Donna, an listen, I appreciate anybody, it, but I do believe we'll continue that to investigate did a great it. job. All right, all the best to you. Go to Russia. You'll